This novel is about defeating the Santiago's curse of a bucket with no fish which continued 84 days without a single catch. Even his closest friend and acolyte, Manalin, left the Santiago's boat to the more lucky ones in fishing. As a consequence, Santiago decided to sail to the place where no one was before in order to catch the biggest fish there, which returned the other fishermen's respect and Manolin himself, even though the marlin was eaten and only the bones were left. There are many themes in this novel. The manhood and relationship are clearly shown between Santiago and Manolin, who are related by their same goals and each other's faithfulness. The pride and ambitions helped Santiago to overcome the struggles and and difficulties in order to catch a huge marlin. The kill or be killed theme is the base of this novel, where Santiago had to kill and bring the marlin or stay ashamed and lonely for the rest of his life. The whole novel is based on Santiago's ambitions and struggles. Even though he didn't catch any fish for almost three months, he didn't go into retirement and waited for his death. No, he sailed to the place where no one was before because he expected to catch a huge fish there. We can't say that he did it just for human basic needs, eating, because he always refused Manolin to eat something for gaining strength. Also, the diversity and amount of things at home were minimalistic like his ascetic lifestyle. He did this risky trip in order to save his career, make Manolin proud, change his luck, and because he loves the sea and its beauty. During the, his trip, he motivated himself in many ways by saying he was strong, he had this kind of challenge, uh, he admired uh, the Dimagio's father as a strong fisherman. Even though he had bleeding and cramp issues, he still could defeat the huge marlin which was a thousand times stronger than him. He considered uh, the marlin as a wonderful, strong, wise and clear-minded opponent. Therefore, he didn't sail away like a loser to get some help, because it would be unfair for marlin. Manolin was only at the beginning and end, a young boy who openly showed the love and filthy to the old man. He made sure that uh, he, Santiago, had food, blankets, could rest without bothering and was happy. He was the only companion for Santiago. Even though Santiago brought eaten Marlin only, Manolin still abandoned the father's duty because he wanted to be with, with Santiago and bring his own luck to the boat, no matter what. A man can be destroyed but not defeated. Even though Santiago lived in a broken shed with a table and chair only, had a boat with flower bags, was unlucky and old, even though he sailed to the place where no one was before, caught a huge marlin, he got attacked by sharks, so basically he failed. But he didn't give up on fishing, he continued fishing with Manolin by forgetting his pride. Find inspiration from others. Often when the problem is too challenging, people give up on reaching it and find different excuses. Here is another lesson. The old age isn't an excuse. Manolin truly helped Ma Santiago for most of the time. Even Santiago said, I wish he could be with me. After my book review, I would like to tell you my opinion about this book. So. I would give 8 out of 10 grade to this book because the bad thing about this book is that the action, action is stretched throughout 120 pages which could be written in 5 pages. However, the good thing about this book which fully neutralizes the bad thing is the depth of the thoughts. The author has to be genius. Uh, to write a, such a detailed, uh, sensible and correct description of fishermen's uh, feelings and thoughts. When I read this book, I fully emphasize everything in this novel. I, when I read this book, I think I am Santiago, I am trying to catch the marlin, I am fighting with sharks. This book has lots of different and deep meanings. I don't think there are many books in which fisherman considers the sea as his wife or he considers the food which he is trying to catch as a good opponent. Would I recommend this book to other people? Yes, of course, without any delays.
I've eaten the whole bonito. Tomorrow I will eat the dolphin. He called it Torato. Perhaps I should eat some of it when I clean it. It will be harder to eat than the bonito, but then nothing is easy. How do you feel, fish? He asked aloud. I feel good and my left hand is better and I have food for a night and a day. Pull the boat, fish. He didn't truly feel good because the pain from the cord across his back had almost passed pain and got into a dullness that he mistrusted.